So today, I'm going to show you how to make atmospheric smoke like this. Hold tight. Okay, so I was pretty stuck on what to do for a sort of first tutorial. I know you all wanted to do a tutorial, but I was pretty stuck on what to do. So I asked people on my Instagram, hey, what would you, what would you like to see? What would you like to know? And a lot of people came back and said, I want to learn how to put smoke or how I put smoke in images like you can see here. I put smoke in a good 95% of my images because it it just adds that bit of atmosphere that some images need. So the main way, well the way I do it, I know there's a few people out there that use sort of smoke PNGs and just chuck it on a screen layer, but how I do it is with brushes and I will actually put these brushes in the link below so you can have a go with the same ones I do. So you can see here in your brushes panel, you've got your obviously normal normal brushes and then you've got these smoke folders. And the one I use mostly, I would say, yeah, again, 95% of the time, I'll use this one here. So if we come over, drop to a black layer so I can show you what I'm actually talking about. So this is a smoke brush and that is what it does. So it adds a blurry sort of nice smoke so it's, it's got some movement in it so it's quite quite natural but there are ones that are a lot harsher but again like this sort of one you can use that for a mist over an image so if we take that you can really you can use these brushes in so many many different ways and obviously you can add color to them as well which is really good so like like here, you can see there's brake lights in the smoke because naturally your light would flow into the smoke because the smoke's a texture and it will bounce off that. So the brushes, obviously get them downloaded, chuck them into Photoshop. If you do need a hand getting it into Photoshop, I can tell you to drop a comment in. So if we start afresh on this Liberty Walk image, so right now, yeah, it looks good, but it's missing that little little sound sound thing. So, what do you just chuck a new layer in? Grab your brush. Obviously, I'm going to go for the 608 because that's my favourite brush. And one thing to mention up here, you can rotate the brush because you can see you can see the shape the shape of the brush, and sometimes it just doesn't work. So you can give it a little rotate and get a nice shape to it. And top sort of tip, if you are on Mac, if you hold Control and Alt and then drag left and right, it will change the diameter of your brush. If you go up and down, it will change the opacity. So you can, instead of coming up here, changing the opacity, changing the size and coming back, you can just do it so much quicker with Control and Alt. And I think on Windows, oh, Windows, what would that be on Windows? That be Control Alt again on Windows? Yeah, I think it's Control Alt on Windows. If you do know and you are on Windows, chuck it into the comments and I'll pin your comment for you because yeah, I think it's Control Alt. Yeah, it's Control Alt. Okay, anyways, where were we? Side tracked. Okay, so we've got a new layer. We've got our smoke brush. We've rotated it to the angle that we want. No, no, we haven't. No, 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 we really haven't. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to tap. And there's your smoke. So yeah, cool. That looks really good, but it's a bit messy. So it's all over the cars. It's all over the cars. So you, you want it neater. So obviously, yeah, it would flow over the cars, but for the client, you don't want smoke all over the cars because they want to show the show the cars. So what we can do, I have them pathed already. So you obviously need to path your objects. So I'm just going to get, what's that over? That is the Rari. So, oh, that's awkward, isn't it? Paths aren't even over my cars because I've cropped the image. Nice, Alex, nice. Let's just drag this back in there. There we go. Let's move that over. Sweet, okay. So select that. 
and we'll chuck this in a mask. There we go, we have no smoke over our cars. But obviously, like I said before, you need some something in there. Because it's a mask, you can rub, you can add in there without taking your original shape out. So we'll smack a little bit of black. Still using a smoke brush because then you get the then you get the realistic smoke instead of using a circle brush like this. It just doesn't look as natural. So using the smoke brush on the mask, you can add in a nice smoky sort of shape. Let's add some more smoke in. Obviously we want it out the back. So we'll change the shape again, come up here, rotate it a little bit. There we go, that's a nice shape. And you always wanna try and get it in the natural light because you can see the natural light's coming out of the garage and hitting the floor. So we'll try and just mimic that coming out. So obviously that's really harsh again. So you come back over to your mask, grab your black, chuck the opacity down to 100, just nip some away. There we go. Let my computer catch up because it's probably gonna crash. Yeah, there we go, it's gonna crash. Nope, let's all cross our fingers and hope this computer doesn't crash. There we go, awesome, we're there, we're live, we're good. Okay, we'll add a little bit back in here. That's cool, so let's zoom out. That looks a little bit too fake, so take a little bit more out. There we go. Okay, then we'll just add that little bit of brake light into there. So you do a new layer, put your brush obviously to red because that's a brake light. Make this brush a little bit smaller. Come down to here, hit color. So now this cloud here, it will take on the color of the red. Obviously that is way too bright. So again, come over to your mask, paint a little black in. And there. got your brake lights in your smoke that took what was that two minutes so then you do that on the other side and as blue peter says here's one i made earlier you've got that on both sides obviously you don't want to mimic the smoke on the other side you want it natural because smoke flows smoke moves and obviously your brake lights are going to be a little bit different so add some more texture in there with your reds and then really it just makes it just adds that a little bit more into there. There we go, that's a five minute tutorial done and I do hope you